Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alright, so welcome back to the application of integration So we'll focus on the volume So for the application of uh, application for the volume We can divide into three methods So the first one will be this method The second one will be washer And the third one will be shell Alright, so um, but we'll focus on this method first, all right? So, but the difference between the this method and washer method is that for the this method, we can get a full solid when we rotate. Let's say we rotate, we rotate this one with respect to x, uh, sorry, uh, about revolve this about x axis. So, we'll get something like this. So, this is, a, you know, a kind of a solid, all right? So, this is a, a disk. But if there is hole, all right, if there is hole, something like this, let's say we wrote it about X exists, so we'll have something like, all right, so we'll have holes here, okay. So when we rotate this, so we'll have something like this, okay. And this one will have holes here. Right? So mm -hmm, we have something like this, right? Okay, so this one will be holes in the middle, all right. Something like this, well, we have a uh, volume here, but we have holes in the middle, all right? So that is for washer method, all right? And the shell method also something like this. All right, so uh, let's see this article. It says that, all right, so if there were no hole in the middle, then the slice would be a thin cylinder. So we call this as a, a disc, all right? So this is a disc. And if there is, we'll compute, uh, uh, sorry, uh, okay, something like this, all right. So, uh, if if otherwise, all right, so we, we have it as a washer, all right. So, this one is with the hole in the middle, all right, something like this. All right, so, but we will focus on the this method first, all right. So, we can divide the this method into two types. Uh, the one that we want to revolve about X exists and also the one we will revolve about Y exists, right. So for the one that we revolve about X exists, of course, we will integrate with respect to X, DX. But for the one we revolve about Y exists, we'll uh, integrate with respect to Y, DY, right? So we should integrate DX, this one integrate with DY. Right, so for the one for DX, we should have the rule that the top should minus the bottom function right the top one the uppermost should minus the lowermost function right same goes for this one top minus bottom for the dx right so the formula is given by all right so we have this formula uh, v which is volume is equal to pi integrate from a to b because we only consider this region here all right that one from a to b and uh, we should have the top function minus the bottom function and we should square it right so we should pi in, should, we should have pi in the middle uh the common mistake that the student do they forgot to write this uh pi and also this square all right so if you do not square this it will become area if you don't put the area uh, the square and also the uh pi it will become area but now we are computing the volume so you should have pi and also the square for the top minus the bottom function all right so this one should be dx if top minus bottom it should be dx if right minus left it should be dy all right so let's see this one all right because we just want to consider the region from c to d which is something like this all right or this one so we should have the right minus all right so formula is given by all right so the formula is given by v which is pi uh, integrate from c to d because we consider the region from c to d and the right minus left function and should square it all right so the one that that is always left, but the student is actually the pi and also the square, right? So be careful. So you should have this, all right? So bear in mind that if it is we want to revolve about x axis, so it should be x, all right? So it should be dx, so the top minus bottom. And for the one that is revolved about y axis, it should be right minus left, and it should be dy. And we should know that the value on this integral, all right? This a and b, if we revolve about x axis, so of course this a and b should be on x axis, something like this, right? This one is on x axis. But now, if we revolve about y axis, so sorry, this one should be dy, right? So this one should be dy, right? My mistake. All right, that one should be dy. All right. So if we revolve about y axis of course this c and d should be on y axis so you should look at this all right c and d should be on y axis right so 
uh, be careful when writing this all right so this is the most important part because you have to set up the uh, you know the the formula before you could integrate and find the volume all right so let's say we have this first uh, function all right suppose we have this graph and we want to uh, rotate this region all right so we want to rotate this region about x axis all right so we will have something like this all right so we have something like this volume all right so we rotate this so it will have something like this all right so this is the volume all right so now we want to get the uh, air, uh so volume generated by this solid all right so when it is revolved the function is revolved about x as this so we should have uh, we should note that when we have uh, revolving about x as is, so we should have the formula, we should start with v, which is equal to pi, don't forget the pi, and this one, you look at the region, and from negative 1 until to y, we should put negative 1 until 2 because we want it to integrate with respect to x, alright? So, the value on this interval, uh, the integration should be on the x axis, which is negative 1 and also 2. So, negative 1 and 2, okay? Something like this. So, now, we want to integrate. So, the top function should be, right? So, the top function should be this one, which is given by x squared plus 1. That one is the top function, x squared plus 1. Alright, so we should minus the one at the bottom is of course this one which is given by actually the x axis which is y equal to 0. So we should minus 0. This one is square. Alright, something like this. So when we have this, we have to simplify, meaning to say that we have to expand that negative uh, sorry, square. So we'll have something like x to the power of 4 plus 2x square plus 1 dx. Okay, so now we want to integrate this. Alright, so this is a very easy because you should have known this all right uh x to the power of five over five uh, plus two x to the power of three over three plus x all right this one should be substituted with negative one until two so now we try to substitute with uh two first all right so two to the power of five over five plus two two to the power of three over three plus two Right, this one should subtract the one with pi. We should have a uh, negative one to the power of five over five plus two, negative one to the power of three over three plus negative one. All right, so computing this, all right, so we, you can leave your answer in terms of pi. All right, so two to the power of five over five plus two, two to the power of three over three plus two. So this one should give us a uh, 206 over 15 pi and we should subtract with the one at the back there negative 1 over 5 uh, minus 2 over 3 minus 1 so that one should be uh, negative 28 over 15 pi right so uh, when we calculate this we should get 206 over 15 plus 28 over 15 we should have uh, 78 over 15 pi all right so 78 over 15 pi all right so this is the answer all right you can leave your answer in term of uh decimal all right which is 49 something all right so uh, looking at this all right so let's look at the what we call the um the graph of all this one all right so it's, it has something like this so this is the graph so we want to integrate from negative one until two so that is the region so we want to revolve now all right so look at the uh the, the red axis actually the x axis so, so we, we revolve these all right so we'll get something like this uh-huh all right so this is the volume generated by the region all right so this is the volume generated by the region when it is revolved about x as is just now okay all right it's nice right mm -hmm. all right so that is for question uh number one Suppose we have this uh, region, all right. So, which is the area is under the curve x is equal to y square, and now we want to rotate with uh, uh, about. Uh, we want to revolve about y axis, and uh, we should look at this. And if we revolve it, we'll have something like this, all right. So, this is the volume generated by that region, all right. Something like that. So, we should start with v formula, which is volume, all right. So, the volume for this one should should start with pi all right so integrate from where to where all right so uh, back in mind when we revolve about y axis so we should have dy all right this is the first setup and we should have the right function so the right function is actually given by this right so now we have 
we have to write it in terms of y, all right? So x equal to y squared because we want to use this y squared here, all right? So y squared is the right function minus this one, all right? Is the left function which is given by y equal to zero. Uh, sorry, x is equal to zero. So uh, this is zero, so we should have zero here. So we should square this one, all right? So we know that the value on this integral should be on y axis, so it should be zero until two, all right? So that one it should be zero until two, all right? So we have something like this. So we simplify this one it will be pi integrate from zero until two y to the power of four dy. All right, so now we want to find the integration, which is easy. All right, so it's pi integrate, which is y to the power of 5 over 5 from 0 until 2. So we have something like from pi, all right, so we substitute with 2 to the power of 5 over 5. That one should be 0 because uh, 0 to the power of 5 over 5 is 0. So we have something like at 2 to the power of 5, all right. Sorry, 2 to the power of 5 over 5, all right. So we have something like 32 over 5 pi, right? 32 over 5 pi. Or you can leave your answer in terms of decimal, which is uh, 20.11, right? So units uh, units cube, right? So this is units cube because it is a volume, all right? So, uh, all right, so this is easy, right? So right minus left, right? Should be dy. And if we look at the graph, right? It'll be something like this. Very interesting, all right? Uh, that is the graph, all right? So now we want to revolve from uh, 0 until 2, right? Uh, from 0 until 2, all right? So, all right, so we we'll start revolving uh, about the y-axis. So we have something like this. This is the volume uh, that we obtained. All right, so it's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just rotate this. All right, look at a different perspective. All right, uh, so this is the volume generated by that region when it is revolve about y-axis, okay? Mm. Right. Uh, all right. It's it's kind of hat something like this. <laughs> all right. So that is for question number two. All right. So now, um, let's look at the question number three. All right. So let's look at the question number three. All right. So we have this uh, region. All right. Given um, where. Uh, it is the area between the x axis and also the function y equal to negative x over 3 minus 3. So now we want to find the volume where this is generated, uh, generated by the region when it is revolved about x axis will be something like this, right? So of course this one, something like this, alright? So that is the, uh, the, the, the kind of the shape of the solid. Alright, so now we should start with the formula for V, which is equal to pi, alright, V, which is equal to pi, integrate from, alright, so from, alright, so let me just write dx first. Why dx? Because we revolve about x axis, alright? So now we should substitute with the top function. So we look at this, so this is the top one, all right? So this is the upper one, all right? So this is given by y which is equal to zero. So we should start with zero minus, all right? The one at the bottom is of course this function, all right? So this function is given by this. So that one should be put in a bracket, negative x cubed minus one, all right? So then we should square it, all right? So we know that the value on this integral should be from negative one until one because the region is on the x-axis, all right, so negative one and, and one on the x-axis because it is uh, the region bounded by that uh, value, all right, so negative one onto one, something like this, all right. So now we have something like, all right, so we have to simplify this one. So negative one until one, that one should be x to the power of three plus one to the power of two dx, all right. So that one is dy just now, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so... Now we want to expand that one, all right? So that one should be x to the power of six plus two x to the power of three uh, plus one dx. So now we integrate this, all right? So this should be easy, all right? Pi, all right? So we should have x to the power of seven over seven plus two x to the power of four over four plus x. And for this one from negative one until one, all right? We can actually sim simplify this one, all right? So x to the power of seven over seven, all right? Uh, plus uh, x to the power 4 over 2 or uh, plus x integrate from negative 1 uh, sorry substitute value from negative 1 un uh, until 1 all right so i'm going to continue here all right so this one should be a pi the one we substitute with 1 should be 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 all right so minus a pi the one with substitute with negative 1 should be negative 1 over 7 uh, plus 1 over 2 minus 1 all right something like this 
Right, so using, uh, you can perform this using your calculator, 1 over 7, all right. 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, all right. Minus, uh, sorry, that one should be, there is a, 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 should be 23 over 14 pi, right. Minus, all right, that one should be negative 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2, uh, 1 over 2 minus 1 should be negative 9 over 14 pi all right so combining this we should get all right so 23 over 14 plus 9 over 14 we should have uh, 16 over 7 pi all right so this one 16 over 7 pi units to the power of 3 so we can actually uh, uh, right also in term of uh, decimal in form of decimal which is 7.18 something unit square all right so let's look at the uh, volume uh, generated by that region all right we have something like this all right so we have the region from uh, just now uh, negative one until one all right so now we want to rotate about x axis or right? something like this mm hmm so that is the volume generated by that region where this revolve about x axis, right? So x axis is actually the, the, the red one, right? So this is the shape of the solid uh, form from the generation of the uh, from the revolving uh, about the x axis, All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the uh, what do you call? The, the third example so now let's look at question number four here all right so suppose we have this region um we want to rotate about y axis all right so uh we should note that now we want to rotate about y axis so we should have something like uh formula we should have pi integrate from where to where uh, because we want to rotate about y axis so it should be dy all right so it should be dy okay so, um, and bear in mind when it is dy, we should have the one at the right minus the one at the left. So, the one at the right is, of course, this one, right? So, the one at the right is, of course, this one. So, this one is given by y equal to x square. So, we should have x square. But, look at this variable x, this is y. So, that is contradiction here. So, you should not have, uh, you should not use the x in this case because now you want to write the function in terms of y. So, you have to modify the function, right? So, given y equal to x squared, but now you want to make x as the subject. So, x should be square root of y, right? So, this is the function, right? So, now we're going to use this square root y at the right, all right, square root y minus, all right, so at the left is actually given by this function, which is actually x is equal to zero, so we want to write this zero, all right, so we should square it, and bear in mind that the values on this integral should be on y axis because it is dy, so it should be zero until three because the region is bounded from zero until three, so we should have zero until three, all right, so simplifying this, all right, before we can integrate, we should simplify this, all right, so it has something like 0 until 3, square of y square should have y dy. All right, so now we want to integrate, all right, so it will become y square over 2, all right, from 0 until 3. Now you substitute with 3 first, all right, so we'll have something like 3 square over 2 uh, minus that one should be 0 because y square, which is 0 square over 2, will be 0. So this will give us 9 over 2 pi, all right? 9 over 2 pi, okay, so 9 over 2 pi, or you can write in terms of decimal, which is 14.114, right? So this one should be a units cube, right? So units cube, should be units cube, right? All right. So now we look at the uh, graph, uh, the, the solid generated by this, all right, question number four, we should have something like this. Uh -huh. All right, so that is the region. We want to rotate uh, a revolve about y axis from a zero until two. All right, so, okay. So zero until three, right? Zero until three, all right. So, mm -hmm. that is the solid. Uh, f uh, that is generated by revolving the shadow region just now by uh, uh, at about the y axis, all right? Okay, so that, that is the shape of the solid, all right? Okay, uh, can we see it? All right, okay, 
all right so this is for question number four all right so let's look at question number five all right question number five we have something like this all right and now we want to rotate about x axis so bear in mind we should start with volume uh pi which is integrate because it is rotated about the x axis so it should be dx so the one at the top is of course uh, given by these all right so we should have this negative x squared plus 4 negative x squared plus 4 uh, minus the one at the bottom is of course this function of course which is given by y equal to 0 for the x as is all right square now we want to um, fill up with the values on the x axis because we rotate with respect to x so negative 2 until 2 because the region is bounded from negative 2 until 2 okay something like this so we should simplify this all right negative 2 until 2 so we have uh, that one should be expanded to be all right so x to the power of 4 minus 8x square plus 16 dx all right so now we integrate all right so when we integrate we'll have x to the power of 5 over 5 minus 8x to the power of 3 over 3 plus 16x okay this one from negative 2 until 2 all right so we should substitute with 2 first all right so we have something like uh, 2 to the power of 5 over 5 minus 8 2 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 16 multiplied by 2 all right minus this one pi integrate from all right so that one it should be negative 2 to the power of 5 over 5 minus 8 negative 2 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 16 negative 2 all right so something like this okay now we have to calculate this so you can use your calculator all right so minus 8 at 2 to the power of 3 over 3 okay plus 16 multiply with 2 so we should have uh, 2 5 6 over 15 pi all right minus all right that one should be negative 2 all right to the power of 5 uh, 5 okay so minus 8 negative 2 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 16 uh, negative 2 so you have something like uh, that one should be mm -hmm, uh, negative 2 5 6 over 15 pi uh, sorry pi should be inside this all right so why so simplifying this so we have 2 5 6 multiply with 2 we have 5 1 2 over 15 pi or all right so or you can write in in decimal which is a one six zero eight point point five zero a units cube right so this is volume so it should be units cube so uh, when we revolve this about x axis so we have something like this okay so this is the region we want to rotate from negative 2 until 2 about x axis so when all right so we start revolving now okay we rotate about x axis x axis is the red one okay so we get this uh i'm not sure what what kind of shape is this it's like onion all right it's, Okay, uh -huh. all right, it's like onion, right? Mm -hmm. Or gassing, something like this, right? All right, so let's look at the last one, all right? So we have the function at the last one, which is of course given by this one, all right? So uh, we want to write it about uh, y axis so we should bear in mind that we should have pi uh, integrate from right so this is rotated about y axis so it should be dy all right the one uh, at the right minus the one at the left so the one at the right is of course this one should be y to the power of 3 plus 1 and the one at the left is actually given by this function which is actually uh, what do we call this um, x is equal to 0 so of course minus 0 square right don't forget to square it and the values on this integral should be from negative 1 until 1 all right so negative 1 until 1 all right so now we have something like um, okay uh, right something like this so now we want to expand this one all right so negative 1 until 1 uh, so y to the power of 6 plus 2y to the power of 3 uh, plus uh, 1 all right 
so dy you now we integrate this we'll have something like right this one pi y to the power of 7 over 7 plus 2y to the power of 4 over 4 plus y all right this one should be substituted from negative 1 until 1 all right so negative 1 until 1 so we have something like um we can actually still simplify this all right y to the power of 7 over 7 plus y to the power of 4 over 2 plus y all right substitute from negative 1 until 1 so substitute with 1 first we'll have something like 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 all right minus by uh, substitute with negative 1 we'll have negative 1 over 7 uh, plus 1 over 2 uh, minus 1 all right so we should have something like all right so 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 should have 23 over 14 pi all right so that one should start with negative 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 all right that one should be negative 9 over 14 pi all right combining this so 23 plus 9 we should have 32 over 14 all right so 32 over 14 should be uh, 16 over 7 pi units cubed Alright, so you can also left, uh, leave your answer in term of decimal, which is 7.18. Right, so the region should be given by this. Alright, so we have something like this. Alright, so you want to rotate. Alright, start revolving. Alright, so we have something like this. Okay, this is the shape that we obtain when we revolve about y axis. Mm hmm. Okay, it's, it's like a hat, all right? <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching.